गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री इज एसोसिएटेड विद सीरियस फ्रॉड इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफिस विच हैज रिसेंटली बीन इन द न्यूज एक्चुअली सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन डिसमिसिंग अ पटिशन to quash a complaint by the serious fraud investigation office has left a pivotal legal question unanswered and what is that question whether the sfio qualifies as the police officers under the code of criminal procedure 1973 or not okay so it was established in the year 2015 by the government of india and this office operates under the ministry of corporate affairs so its statutory status is granted by the section 211 of the companies act 2013 and it empowers to investigate and prosecute white collar crimes handling the complex cases involving multidisciplinary affairs okay so which ministry is associated with the serious fraud investigation office answer is ministry of corporate affairs that is option number a now here our keyword would be ministry and we will revise some of the important ministries that were in news these days first question is e sakshi application recently seen in the news is associated with which union ministry this application is associated with ministry of statistics and program implementation the genetic engineering appraisal committee that was recently in news operates under which ministry it works under ministry of environment forest and climate change which ministry is responsible for the pm e bus seva scheme here answer would be ministry of housing and urban affairs which company has been contracted by the defense ministry for the procurement of 697 boji open military railway wagons for the indian army this company is jupiter wagons limited okay and last is what is the brand name of the environmental label under the indian forest and the wood certification scheme recently launched by the environment ministry the name of this environmental label is praman this is the brand name okay here answer is praman next is which country has recently signed an agreement with the us to purchase the tomahawk missiles here your answer would be japan country d option and recently japan has signed a deal with the us for the purchase of 400 tomahawk missiles these are versatile long range cruise missiles and it is manufactured in the us also these missiles can be launched from ships or submarine and uh, it targets the fixed location like communication and air defense sites so it fly at low altitude and it uses the satellite navigation and telecom radar basically for precise guidance and uh, it is propelled initially by the solid propellant and later by a heat efficient turbofan engine and yes they offer strategic advantages in the high risk scenarios which would actually enhance the japan's defense capabilities right so japan has signed this agreement with the us and now they are purchasing the 400 tomahawk missiles from the us country okay now here our keyword would be country and in the next slide we will see some of the important international current affairs first question is suraya satellite which was seen in the news is launched by which country here answer would be iran and the revolutionary guards of iran achieved a milestone by launching the suraya satellite into a record high orbit of 750 km using the ghem 100 carrier okay so despite us warnings on the dual use nature of such technology iran claims that this is a success for their country in their aerospace program and this satellite weighs around 50 kg and it marks iran's first placement in the orbits higher than 500 km that would definitely raise concerns about the potential dual use capabilities for the ballistic missile including those with nuclear warhead okay so suraya satellite is associated with the country iran recently which country has been elected as the first voice chair of the food and agriculture organizations committee on fisheries subcommittee on fisheries management here answer would be india 
and now india has been elected as the first vice chair of the fao kofi sub committee on fisheries management and it brings the crucial balance and the perspective to global fisheries governance and uh, representing the global south india's role is important in shaping the narratives also india is a leading fishing nation with over 28 million fishes and now it will serve on the fao fisheries bureau on captured fisheries for the first time in last 57 years and yes it is a noteworthy development in our fisheries engagement okay so here answer is india recently which country launched the ecomark green accreditation framework for msmes at the world economic forum in davos this is the country ua chang six mission recently seen in the news is associated with which country chang six mission is uh, related to the country china Which country has recently passed a significant legislative bill banning the consumption and sale of dog meat? Recently South Korea has passed a legislative bill that would ban the consumption and the sale of dog meat there. So these are some of the important countries that were in news in the past few days. Next is recently which state launched the My School My Pride campaign for education transformation? Here your answer would be Himachal Pradesh. A option Himachal Pradesh has launched the My School My Pride campaign which is a part of Apna Vidyalay program which basically aims to improve the education in the government schools and to support the students growth so campaign aligns with the national education policy 2020 and it encourages the individuals and the organizations to adopt a school and provide career counseling remedial teaching yoga training and financial donation so this campaign also encourages the retired teachers professionals housewives and other community members to volunteer as academic support mentors without payment okay so this is the campaign of himachal pradesh state here our keyword would be state and in the next slide we will see some of the important state related current affairs First is Kangar Valley National Park which was seen in the news recently is located in which Indian state this national park lies in the state of Chhattisgarh Abua Awas Yojana which was seen in the news is associated with which Indian state this is a scheme from Jharkhand state Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary lies in the state of Haryana Why this bird sanctuary is in news because Indian government is actively promoting nature tourism at total 16 Ramsar sites including this Chilka Lake and Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary and Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary uh, lies in Haryana's Gurgaon district and it is recognized as a Ramsar site as we know and firstly it was designated as a Ramsar site in the year 2021 fine and why Abua Awas Yojana is in news these days because The Chief Minister of Jharkhand Mr Hemant Soren is set to deliver the first installment of the Abua Awas housing scheme and basic aim of this scheme is to provide housing to those excluded from the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana okay so that's why this scheme was in news fourth is Mukhya Mantri Mahila Udyamita Abhiyan recently seen in the news is launched by which state government Mukhya Mantri Mahila Udyamita Abhiyan is associated with the state Assam Recently Union Fisheries Minister Purushottam Rupala inaugurated an artificial reef project in which Indian state our fisheries minister Purushottam Rupala has inaugurated an artificial reef project in the state of Kerala okay next is what is the IUCN status of gangetic dolphin recently seen in the news so they are categorized as endangered in the IUCN list and uh, why it is in news because recently a gangetic dolphin has been rescued in Odisha and now it raises some hope for the presence of more freshwater dolphins in the river okay so once they were widespread in the ganga brahmaputra meghna and uh, karna phuli sangu river systems but the ganges river dolphin is now endangered and uh, they are classified as blind and it hunts using the ultrasonic sounds fine So this species is protected under schedule 1 of India's Wildlife Protection Act and now it faces conservation challenges that's why project gangetic dolphin was launched in the year 2023 and it signifies India's commitment to this endangered species which was declared as the national aquatic animal as well okay so gangetic dolphin has the IUCN status of endangered now we will see some of the species that were in news What is the IUCN status of Indian vulture recently seen in the news all of these species were in news for 
some or the other reason and we will see what is the iocene status of each of these species so indian vulture is classified as critically endangered in the iocene list what is the iocene status of gantu penguin which was recently seen in the news here answer is least concern they are categorized as the least least concern uh, species what is the current conservation status of the himalayan wolf as examined by the iucn in their red list they are categorized as vulnerable which species had its iucn red list conservation status changed from critically endangered to near threatened recently so this species is saiga antelope and earlier they were in the category of critically endangered and now their category has been shifted to near threatened what is the conservation status of stump tailed macaque as per the iucn red list they are categorized as vulnerable okay next question is what is the theme of the g77 third south summit in kampala uganda so the third south summit is a meeting of the group of 77 means g77 that took place in kampala uganda on 21st and 22nd of january and this year for this event the theme was leaving no one behind also the summit included the g77 plus china conference and if we talk about g77 it is a group of 134 countries including china india indonesia and pakistan and it was established as a reaction to the international monetary fund and the world bank which were designed to meet the needs of developed countries so g77's policies include strengthening the multilateralism developing friendly relations and promoting peaceful settlement of dispute okay so you have to remember that what was the venue for the g77 third south summit answer is uganda and what was the theme for this event answer is leaving no one behind fine let's see some of the important summits that were in news which country is the host of 19th summit of the non aligned movement 2024 this country is uganda uganda is the host for 19th edition of non aligned movement which city is the host of 2024 brics summit answer is kazan that lies in the country russia which city is the host of the world climate action summit 2023 answer is dubai which city is the host of 8th india water impact summit here answer is new delhi which city hosted the joint summit of the arab league and the oic means organization of islamic cooperation which city hosted this joint summit answer is riyadh okay and last is which country hosted the two day summit of european space ministers dubbed as space summit space summit was hosted by the country spain so these are some of the important summits that were reduced few days back next is recently the union minister of ports shipping and waterways laid the foundation stone for state of the arts ayush diksha center in which indian city so ayush diksha center which is a unique initiative for the development of ayush professionals is set to be established at the central ayurveda research institute that lies in bhubaneswar odisha and the foundation stone was laid by union minister sarvanand sonowal who emphasized on integrating traditional ayush medicine with modern practices and this center uh, will provide training program and it will collaborate with the different national institutes and the budget for this center is 30 crore rupees so basically it focuses on capacity development and research for self sustainability also it will feature advanced facilities like auditoriums rooms a natural library etc fine so this center is to be set up in the city of bhubaneswar now let's see some of the important centers that were in news these days first is recently telangana collaborated with which organization to establish a center for the fourth industrial revolution so telangana has collaborated with the world economic forum so that they can establish a center for the fourth industrial revolution who is the current ceo of the indian cyber crime coordination center answer is mr rajesh kumar rajesh kumar is the current ceo of i4c which organization recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the national remote sensing center to develop a green cover index for the national highways so recently national highways authority of india has signed this mou with national remote sensing center so that they can develop a green cover index for national highways swarved mahamandir which is world's largest meditation center inaugurated recently is located in which indian city this is the world's largest meditation center and recently it has been inaugurated in varanasi city 
Last is Kamala Konda Wildlife Sanctuary, where Eastern Ghats Nature Interpretation Center is being opened, is located in which Indian state? In this wildlife sanctuary, Eastern Ghats Nature Interpretation Center is is to be set up very soon, and it lies in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay, these are some of the centers that were in use these days. Next is recently, which two airports were awarded the best airport of the year at the Wings India Awards 2024? Here answer is Bangalore and Delhi B option. So Kampe Gowda International Airport that lies in Bangalore and the Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi were jointly awarded the best airport of the year at the 2024 Wings India Awards. And this award was presented by Union Civil Aviation Minister, who is it, Mr. Jyotir Adit M. Sidhya. Okay. And uh, it was presented at an event in Hyderabad on 18th of January. also you have to remember that the mangaluru airport was named as the best airport in the under 5 million passenger category fine so which two airports were awarded the best airport of the year this is kempe gowda international airport from bangalore and the indira gandhi airport from delhi let's see some of the airports that were in news recently which indian airport received a recognition at unesco's 2023 prix versailles here answer is once again the bangalore's airport that is kempe gowda international airport few days back it has received the recognition at unesco's 2023 prix for size which is the first airport in the country to land a commercial aircraft in low visibility this is deogarh airport it is the first airport in the country to land a commercial aircraft in low visibility which state is planning to establish an aerotropolis around its upcoming international airport this is up up is now planning to establish an aer aerotropolis around its upcoming international airport utkela airport has been inaugurated in which state or the union territory utkela airport is a part of odisha it is inaugurated in the state of odisha tezu airport which was seen in the news is located in which state or the union territory tezu airport lies in arunachal pradesh Next is recently which state hosted the 6th edition of the Khelo India Youth Games this is an extremely important question and the 6th edition of the Khelo India Youth Games is hosted by Tamil Nadu state and it is the first time that this event is held in south india okay and it is to be taking place from 19th to 31st of january in across different four cities which are these chennai madurai Tiruchirappalli means Trichy and Coimbatore okay and this game would feature 5600 athletes in total 275 events spanning across 26 sports and what was the mascot for this event answer is Veera Mangai this is also an extremely important question that what is the mascot for Khelo India Youth Games this year answer is Veera Mangai and it pays homage to Rani Vellu Nachiyar who was an anti colonial queen okay so this event aims to foster grassroots sport which is organized by ministry of youth affairs and sport annually since 2018 okay so tamil nadu has hosted the 6th edition of the khelo india youth games let's see some sport related current affairs here we will see the name of some important sports person because they were in news for uh, some or the other reason and we will see with which sport they are associated to okay First is Antim Fungal plays which sport? So Antim Fungal is a wrestler, so he is associated with wrestling. Ashwini Ponnappa and Tanisha Kresto, who were seen in the news, play which sport? They are the badminton players. Ravi Bishnoi, who was seen in the news, play which sport? Ravi Bishnoi plays cricket. Ang Angad Veer Singh Bajwa and Ganimat Sekhon, who were seen in the news, is associated with which sport? They are the shooters, and they are associated with shooting. Pankaj Advani who was seen in the news is associated with which sport Pankaj Advani is a billiards player answer is billiards okay next is slim mission means smart lander for investigating moon mission recently seen in the news is launched by which particular organization here answer is japan aerospace exploration agency that is jaxa so jaxa has launched it in september 2023 with the help of h to a rocket and basic aim was precise moon landing within 100 meters and to showcase advanced technologies so it carries two mini robotic rovers named as sony and tommy for reconnaissance and the mission seeks to revitalize 
Japan's space program after setback, including the H3 rocket failure. So basic objective include observing the deep space X-rays and identifying their wavelength with unprecedented precision using state-of-the-art spectroscopy. Right. So SLIM mission is associated with Japan. Here answer is the option that is JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Let's see some of the important organizations that were in news. The first is which organization recently launched the first indigenously developed hepatitis A vaccine called Havishur? Here answer is IIL means Indian Immunologicals Limited. So they have unveiled Havishur which is India's first indigenous hepatitis A vaccine and it will protect against the contagious liver infection transmitted through contaminated food or water. Okay. Answer is IIL means India Immunologicals Limited. Steadfast Defender 2024 exercise which was seen in the news launched by which organization? This exercise is a part of NATO and NATO has uh, organized it. Full form is North Atlantic Treaty Organization headquarters lies in Brussels in Belgium. Which organization recently issued the Japanese yen denominated green bonds? It was launched by or issued by REC Limited. Which organization developed the second generation distress alert transmitter for the fishermen? So second generation distress alert transmitter was launched by ISRO for the fishermen for the welfare of fishery sector. Which organization has initiated the first inhuman vaccine trials for the deadly Nipah virus? Answer is University of Oxford. Okay. Last question is which state became the second state in the country after Bihar to conduct a caste census? Here your answer would be Andhra Pradesh state. Andhra Pradesh launched a 10 days comprehensive caste census. And with this, it is the second state after Bihar to undertake this initiative. And now the volunteers will visit every home to collect caste details, which will be transmitted to the village secretariat system. And it marks a significant step in understanding the state's demographic composition. Okay. So after Bihar, Andhra Pradesh is the second state in the country to conduct a caste census. And this is a uh, three star question or five star question. This can definitely be asked in your examination. Now let's see some of the important rankings and indices. Which Indian city achieved the highest ranking in India in the Mercer's Quality of Living City Index 2023? This is the Hyderabad city. Hyderabad has achieved the highest ranking in India in the Mercer's Quality of Living City Index. Recently, which state was ranked as the best performer in the Indian startup ecosystem ranking for 2022? This is Tamil Nadu. Which state has consistently ranked first in recording the entries on the interoperable criminal justice system platform? It is UP. UP has been ranked as first position in recording the entries on the uh, interoperable criminal justice system platform. Which state is the top performer among the coastal states in the LEADS ranking? 2023 answer is Tamil Nadu once again. The Riyani block which secured the top position in the first Delta rankings of aspirational blocks program is from which state or the union territory. So here answer would be Telangana state. So Tiryani block is from Telangana. Fine. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. I hope you have liked the session and uh, also if you feel that I'm going too fast. So always you can use the YouTube feature to reduce the speed and you can play this video with 0.75 or 0.5 playback speed okay apart from it if you want to give any suggestion or uh, reviews regarding this lecture so please uh, write your views in the comment section we would highly appreciate that now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this Minus Hatsana signing off.